I love an animated transition as much as the next guy, but there's something about a nice, modern, and simple transition that just makes me... wet? In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up this new transition. It was a plugin released in the OBS forums a few months ago, back in March. Uh, it's a move transition plugin, and it looks something like this. It has multiple different filters, a lot of versatility built into this transition. So let's dive right into this video. All right, you guys know the deal. The link for this plugin is in the description below. So go ahead and click that link. Once you're on the plugins page, we're going to download this plugin by hitting the download button on the right. Once you've downloaded it, we're going to go ahead and go to our download folder. Now you'll need to extract the zip file that did get downloaded. It should look something like this move dash transition 1.2.7. So go ahead and extract that file. It will come up with obviously a move transition folder or an OBS plugins folder. Go ahead and open that folder 64 bit and we're going to copy these two move transition uh, files here. So go ahead and copy those. Then we're going to go to our C drive. Program Files 86 or Program Files, depending on where you have OBS Studio installed. Open to OBS Studio, go to OBS Plugins, 64-bit, and paste those two files here. Those are all the steps required to download and install this plugin into OBS. So go ahead and open your OBS Studio 64-bit. Now that you have OBS Studio open, all you need to do is go over to the scene transitions down here, hit the little plus button and add a move scene transition. Once you've added the move scene transition in this drop down menu, you will see the move transition as an option. So go ahead and select that option. Now it's all about customizing this transition. So what we need to do is hit this little cog wheel here and go to properties. Now, when you first look at this, it is a bit confusing, to be honest with you. You have a lot of things going on here. You have the match name, move all, move match, move in, and move out. What we're going to highlight first is the move in and the move out. Then it will be easier to make sense of the rest of the things going on. The move in is going to be the settings for the scene that you're transitioning to. And the move out is going to be the settings for the scene that you're transitioning from. So both for the move in and the move out, you have a total of six settings. You have the easing, the easing function, the zoom, position, transition, and curve. So far, I haven't found any real use with the transition. No matter what I've done with the transition, it hasn't affected anything. The easing setting does exactly what you think it would do. It sets the easing of the transition from one scene to the next. The easing function, however, sets the type of transition. So whatever shape these scenes will take when transitioning. For example, I have mine set to circular. With the circular move in, it looks something like this. As you can see, the scene that is moving into the scene is coming in on a circular axis. Now, if I were to change it onto something like back, it would do a little bit of a back uh, kind of movement there. One more example here, elastic, for example, will have somewhat of a bounce when it enters into the new scene. Personally, I like the smooth and easy transition. That's why I went with circular. Now, the position is where that scene is coming from. I have mine set to the bottom left. The curve is going to be how much that easing function is warped. So for example, if I were to increase the curve on this circular easing function, it will come in on a bigger circular axis. The settings for the move out is exactly the same, except for you have to think about it actually leaving the scene. So I like to have mine moving in from the left and moving out to the right. What I have done is in easing in out for the easing here, the easing function is actually set to Quintic. I have the zoom enabled and the position is the top right. So it's going to move from its current position to the top right. And then I've added a nice curve to that as well. So as you can tell, it's leaving to the top right. Now, if I were to take this curve away, it would move directly to the right there. And I almost like that more. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Another thing that you have to make note of is the match name. So if you have two scenes with the same sources contained within them, for example, if you have a webcam on one scene and a webcam on another scene, you can toggle this to make it match that name 
in order to make the transition slightly different. Something else you should pay attention to when using this transition is that when the transition is happening, there will be a portion of the screen that doesn't have any information on it, so it will just be black. What I suggest doing is creating a background that you put on every single one of the scenes so that the background of the transition is always consistent. So if you take a look at my transition here, from switching one to the other, what you will notice is that there is a background behind everything. It's uh, It's got my logo on it, I believe, back there. And the way you do that is by putting an image source under every single one of your scenes. What you can see here in my sources is I have this image file at the bottom. It's got my uh, logo with my color scheme on there as well. So what I have done is put that source at the bottom of every single source on this scene. And what I do is right click on it. I copy and then I right click on each one of those scenes and I paste a reference. And then I just put it at the bottom of the source selections. The reason you have to paste a reference is because it needs to be the exact same source. Otherwise, it will try and transition that background image with the rest of the images as well. So that's a cool little hack to know about when using this transition plugin as well. Anyways, that's really all there is to it when it comes to this transition plugin. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like the video, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well to stay tuned for more content just like this. And I will catch you next time. Peace.